Now, H2 receptor blockers. These are the selective H2 receptor blockers and it, the use is declined because of the presence or availability of proton bomb inhibitors. These are OTC drugs and usually well tolerated. These include drugs like simetidine, ranitidine, famotidine and nizatidine. Pharmacokinetics. The phosphorus metabolism leads to bioavailability about 50%. The serum half-life is 1 to 1.4 hours and the duration of the action depends on the dose. Mechanism of action. H2 blockers competitively and reversibly bind with H2 receptor present on the gastric parietal cell membrane and inhibits H2 receptors leading to CAMP of parietal cell leading to decreased gastric acid secretion. Clinical uses. It is taken before meal and gastroesophageal reflux disease are the common indication, peptic ulcer disease, non-ulcer dyspepsia and prevention of the bleeding from stress-related gastritis. Now this is a picture showing the mechanism of action of different kind of drugs. This includes uh, sucrophate, proton pump inhibitors, antacids, S2 antagonists and others. This is another picture showing mechanism of action on the parietal cell of different drugs. This is another picture showing the molecular level mechanism of action of symmetry, mesoprostol, omeprazole and dis disaclomine. This is another picture showing the mechanism of action on cellular membrane level. Now, adverse effects. Diarrhea, headache, fatigue, malgia, constipation, confusion, hallucination, agitation, calactorium due to symmetrian may be seen. It increases prolactin level. It crosses the placenta, so not given in the pregnancy and lactating mother. Blood, blood dyscrasia, bradycardia, hypotension and reversible abnormal liver function may be seen.